Hiya, welcome back to my channel. It's it's new year. If you're new here, please get subscribed and turn on the notification bell. So today we are going to be making this wig in this video. I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how I achieved this voluminous afro wig. I decided to use an old extensions at home. It's actually new, but I have had it at home for quite a while now. So I decided to turn it into a wig and not just use it to make something else. I wanted something that would last me for years. So this wig, I can wear it for um, say one year, two years and as time goes on, I can decide to cut it into my desired length So if I'm tired of this length, if I want to switch up the look that this wig gives, I can decide to cut it shorter than this So this wig is kind of versatile as well, it's just like natural hair but the reason you would know it is a wig easily is actually because of the color. If it were in black color, I'm definitely sure that it will take you a while to know, oh, is this a hair or is this not a hair? That's all for that. Please watch this video to see the tutorial on how I achieved this beautiful wig. To make your afro wig, you would need a mannequin, preferably one without hair. You would need a wig net. This costed about 400 naira only. You would need a scissors to trim the hair and wig pins to hold the net to the mannequin. Then your afro extensions. I'm using the Nini Fro from Lush Hair in two packs. So on to the next, you have to fix the wig net on your mannequin properly as though you are going to you are wearing it on your head you want to put that in well so you do not fix the hair wrongly so yeah i'm trying to make that as neat as possible and this is it so after that i'm just going to hold it down properly so it doesn't move while fixing i'm going to hold it down with the wig tippings so that way i'm trying to set the net as well so everything looks prim and proper so yeah so that's what i'm just going to do all around the air i think i used about six pins this would make the net not shift every time while you're fixing the air because the elastic band isn't enough for that so i've pinned the net down now and yeah we can proceed to the making of the wig I'm just trying to attach the elastic now note that your extension for each crochet should be as small as possible so you just put it in your crochet pin and try fix it through the net and you notice it just as I am doing in this video when you watch the video closely you would understand how you can do that you put the crochet pin into the net in like about five holes then fix the air and pull it through the, those holes then you have to knot it like together you don't knot one end because this is a wig you want it to last and last for a long period of time so you have to use this method of knotting the extension so watch it properly and closely so you can really understand how you can knot it properly i prefer to choose this method because it would the knot would last longer than me using the other method i use for other crochet this is a wig and i want it to last <laughs> so long yeah so i decided to use this color one because i want to play with colors more and two um this is the one i have at home instead of buying another one in another color let me just use it since i want to play with colors so this process took me about three hours yes just three hours and a little um more than three hours just say three hours and few minutes not say 10 minutes yes it didn't take so much process although it was really tiring <laughs> yeah it was really really tiring but there it is so beautiful like it's it came out so beautiful yeah so you have to be careful when you're fixing this part make sure it goes in a u form kind of when it's already at the upper part like the front should be higher than at the back it goes round yeah a u kind of thing as i did here so that's where it doesn't make the air to be excessively full at the middle part it makes it look professionally made so that is 
a pro tip <laughs> yeah We've got it to the front now so at the front you want to make sure it's not excessively full because when it is full it tends to swell up so you have to like skip a part actually that part would be covered on later but you have to fix the part like the closure part yeah let's put it that way you have to make sure this place is as neat as possible and you fix the air very very close to one another yeah that way your net is covered so that is why you have to space the front because the front closure part it's it's going to be very very full you don't want your head to be looking so so odd kind of so that is it now i'm done with one part and this is the second part as well you can see i skipped some part here after fixing all of the crochet parts i'm going to fix about three to four on each side that were left without a that way it will not be so full and looking hot make sure your closure part is fixed properly and very very close to one another and you rock your air just like that So here's the part i said i would add about three to four to cover up that place as you can see it's not swollen at all so it's time to trim those knots off and give it a good shape you trim it to the desired shape and length that you want i wanted my longer and very very full so i didn't trim so much but you just trim it according to your preference yeah so just watch how i trim it and the end results like yeah it was so so beautiful so this took just three hours and with two packs you are good to go if you want more volume then you should be looking at three packs I decided to give it a wet look by spraying water on it to just make it shrink up a bit and look better so i used my hand to smoothen the water into it and you can see that change like immediately i used the detangling weave spray for extra paparazzi like there was really no need for this since i had used water and now the core keeper from bell star as well just to give it a perfect finish and perfect look yeah so this is what the wig looks like in the end it came out so beautiful and yep let's just wear it and sleep thank you for watching this video please do share this video to whoever you think needs it whoever you think should see this video and let me know if you'll be trying out this wig yourself at home i'll see you in my next video bye